mr president welcome madam prime minister welcome supporters and opponents of the government. this shows that the european parliament is the arena for debate about our shared values. this is not about interfering in national matters or attacking one country or another this is about standing up for the core values of the european project. the polish government with the majority that it has won has the responsibility to maximise the space for opposition and criticism not minimise it. you have to strengthen checks and balances and not weaken them. i have listened to you very carefully madam prime minister but i am not fully reassured if i hear your party leader taking mr orbn for an example who in turn takes mr putin for an example. so i do feel that the european commission initiative is justified but it does seem arbitrary and there are accusations of party politics. why poland not hungary? or indeed why no questions about the state of emergency in france? the debate here shows that there is a need for an eu wide mechanism that is based on objective and transparent criteria to assess all the member states and the eu institutions in the same way and i see mr timmermans smiling because he knows that we are elaborating such a mechanism here in parliament and i would be delighted mr timmermans mr kunders if the council and commission would take up the invitation of the european parliament and elaborate such a mechanism for the whole of the european union together. thank you.